Today we're looking at the JRPG Sword of Reverie. This game has a Kickstarter, it was fully funded in just 3 days. And you can back it for as little as 1 US dollar, but to get access to the early access version you have to at least spend 18 US dollars. And while the demo I am playing today is the PC VR version, they do pledge to provide quest support if they reach 20,000 US dollars, so we could see a quest version of this game at some point. And just before we look at the game, if you do decide to back it, I would appreciate if you use the link in the description below. That link provides me with a small commission. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it really helps me out. So if you like the looks of this game and you want to back it, I'd really appreciate if you use that link in the description below. Finally, you're here. Our country, the Kingdom of Newcrest, is being attacked by elementals. I am Magnus, the Guardian. I have summoned you to save my world. Lend us your power to defeat the invaders, brave hero. No time to waste. We need to hurry. So here I am playing a demo of Sword of Reverie. This is a JRPG, or Japanese RPG. Follow me, this way. As you can see, it has these really nice anime style graphics, and it's a uh, character driven storyline. That's the town of Dorland. The elemental army is rapidly approaching. I have no doubt that Stella, my daughter, is evacuating the people of the town as we speak. We must help her. So the first part of this demo is actually a tutorial. So what I'm going to do is just skip right to the part where we get to the town. So we skip past that tutorial and I can show you the gameplay once we get there and talk a bit about the backstory to this game. So this character, Magnus, he's voiced by Sean Chiplock. Sean Chiplock is a pretty well-known anime voiceover artist, which is great because it means you're going to get some very professional voice acting in this game. And this guy's an elemental. And it has this really cool physics-based combat where you can just chop these guys up. And, uh, and uh, it has plenty of great features too to the combat and I'm going to show you these as we go along. So this guy is a water elemental, you can tell he's blue, so that makes sense. I can also change my sword to different elements, so I change it to the grass element because grass is strong against water and will give me a bit of a bonus when I attack him. Now with water, as you might expect, if I change my swords to the fire element, I'd actually receive a penalty if I was fighting a water element because fire is weak against water. So it adds quite a great strategic element to the game because you have to chop and change the elements to get bonuses when fighting. This guy is fire, and as you might expect, water works well against him. And another great thing about the combat as well, if you hit them in areas where there's no armor, you'll also receive bonuses to your attacks. And that's what I love about this system. In some RPGs, the enemies can be damage sponges. You just hit them, they don't react. In this game, however, it's a lot more interactive, it feels like you're doing damage. It makes the combat a lot of fun. I'm just taking in the views. It has a really nice visual style, like I say, that anime visual style is very nice and the music makes you want to explore the town. So the gold ones, they're neutral. I don't think they have any strengths or weaknesses as far as I know. Uh, you have a gold element too. This is neutral as well. So this is used for if you've got multiple enemy types, different elements, you'll use this because it won't be stronger or weaker. It will act the same across all elements, so if you are having different enemy types in one fight, you will switch to this gold colour. 
So these are grass. I think their weakness is fire, so I'll switch this. And I'll show you some of the magic system too, a bit later. I'll show you some of the magic in this game. The first spell, if I raise my arms above my head, bring them down like this while holding the trigger, you can see the fighter direct um, three water balls at the enemy. And it will change depending on what element I have. So if I say the grass element, I do the same gesture, and hands above my head, bring them straight down. You see it's a different spell, but it's the same gesture. It just changed because I changed my element. There's also these area of effect spells, which I will show you a bit later. I'll just take this guy out. Okay. Down below you'll see you've got the health bar and those blue balls are your mana. So if you run out of the blue ones, then you cannot cast a spell. So I'll show you the area of effect spell. You cross your hands below your chin like this and just bring them down. <laughs> and that creates a spell that surrounds you, good for groups of enemies. And what I've got to do now is I've got to find Stella. So I'll give you a bit of backstory. Stella is the daughter of the previous guardian. The previous guardian was killed by these elementals. And I think there was about a thousand years of peace, so the story goes. Her father was killed, and that disrupted the peace between the humans and the elementals. And that guy we saw back there, Magnus, he adopted Stella when her father was killed. He trained her up in the bow, and she is now trying to avenge her parents' death. Just taking in the scenery. Yeah, so she's trying to avenge her parents' death. Magnus is also my mentor, so you play the role of Magnus's apprentice. And Magnus is the guardian. He defends the realms from these guys. So which way? Ah, I think that might be Stella over there. So Stella is voiced by Kira Bickmore, another famous anime voice actor. What are you waiting for? Come and help me! Let's take this guy out. He's quite well armoured. You can see you can damage the armor and knock it off. So if I keep hitting his shoulder, eventually I take his arm off. <laughs> I could have handled it myself, you know. But th thanks anyway. You're welcome. You. Wow, what is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, demo complete. I think that must be a boss. Now, of course, this was an early access demo. It's not the final product, but hopefully it gives you a taste of what this game is about. Do check out the other websites, the Kickstarter campaign and their Facebook page. There's plenty more information about this game on there, such as upcoming features like the Guild Hall, which will allow you to craft powerful weapons to use on your adventures. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and like I say, if you do decide to back this game, I'd really appreciate if you use that link in the description below. That's it from me. Until next time.